this happen? Part of it, neighbors say, is that Gavori wanted nothing to do with any of them. I rubbed the bump on the top of my head to convince myself I'd been in the truck when Johnny rolled it. He'd never had an accident before, which is why I had my doubts. I called down to the desk for some room service and to check out my telephone connection. A cute little local girl brought in the tray with the plastic thermos, but she forgot the cream and sugar. I told her I'd take it the way I got it. I'm pretty good on the telephone. You learn that in an office, room 14. I say as little as I need, nothing if necessary. And I never bring the instrument into contact with my body. You watch a lot of people and they'll be rubbing it in their ears and slobbering on the mouthpiece. truck you found Johnny and I know you found the truck what gives we you what <laughs> you got excuse me I'm from out of town how deep is that quarry we're gonna have to deal with these shades people <laughs> it's funny because as I was standing there with my finger out the window I remembered having a premonition that something like this was going to happen. I got on the phone to Flo. She was staying outside of somewhere in a cottage. A real nice place, if I remember. Sometimes she felt a little cut off, which is What's the way that? it turned out. I don't know exactly. I'm somewhere out along the border. I'm in this jam. You're in a jam, all right. Any calls? Some little wooden nymph calls. Sometimes it seemed we'd been together a long time. Sometimes. I didn't know her from the Queen of Franks. Yeah. So she wants to talk to you, real man. You can reach her at some place called the cabin. I told her you were out of town on some total experience or another, but I didn't think you'd be coming back. And from now on, she could reach you after 11 when the service takes over. What'd you call me for? Human interest? Oh, honey. Who else? A guy named Cesc we call. Says he's from California. Ring any bells? Yeah, but it could be dangerous to listen to them. Anything else? You're really down there now. so she understands these sudden transitions. Front desk. What time is this? I beg your pardon, sir. 